Queens, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for returning. <laughs> if you're already a subscriber, I'm so happy to see you again. If you're new to my channel, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Octavia Darling. I am a young black woman that is on my self-love, spiritual healing, and growth journey. Um, I created this channel so that I can share who I am with you all and to connect with other women who is on the same journey like myself. So, welcome. Alright, so I wanted to just create a video where I connect with you all um, and just you know kind of open up a little bit about myself where I'm at right now in life because I normally just post videos about my locks or do lock tutorials and things like that but this channel was not created to just be about hair and I don't want to get lost in just doing hair tutorials and things like that like I'm so much more than that um but it's so easy to get caught up in that world when it's like you know it's a part of your life it's what you do all the time anyways so i wanted to dial it back and just introduce something different to you all and in this video i just want to talk about a few different topics that um, has been on my mind or things that i've been experiencing lately and hoping that this video reaches those who needs to hear it and I'm hoping that what I share um, touches those who needs to receive it. So keep watching this video. Okay, so one hot topic that I've been seeing a lot lately on like TikTok, Instagram, um, just different social media platforms, even YouTube, is the topic of a soft life. And I've watched a few videos I've listened to a few podcasts I've seen a few TikToks where you know different women are discussing what a soft life means to them and I wanted to to chime in on this topic because I was more so raised in a masculine kind of energy um you know like being that strong black woman, being that woman who does things for herself, doesn't need anybody, you know, overly independent, um, not able to receive help from others or assistance from others, living off of survival, you know, just doing a lot and not really being tapped into my feminine energy as much as I could have or should have. And as I've gotten older, I've noticed that that kind of lifestyle just doesn't serve me well. Um, always being in that masculine energy and just always feeling like I have to do it on my own or closing off the um, door of accepting help from others or, you know, just being open to um, being gentle. You know what I mean? And... For me, it's like I'm noticing more and more that I do want to live a soft life. I do want to be able to um, depend on others for things. I do want to be able to um, take it easy and delegate different tasks to other people. Side note, if you all see little smoke going across the um, camera, it's because... I'm burning some incense in the back and I'm noticing that it's coming over this way. So that's a side note. And for me, what does a soft life look like? To listen to myself, listen to my mind, my body, my soul. Honor myself by doing what I need to do to feel good in the moment. Not thinking too far ahead. You know, just staying present and understanding where I'm at right now. And what will serve me right now? What will make me happy right now? And just allowing myself to receive what I'm supposed to have in the moment. Another thing is just like not being so fixated on how things are supposed to go, but being more um, like water and going with the flow. You know, <laughs> that kind of rhyme, but I didn't, I didn't plan that. I didn't plan that. <laughs> you know, just being in a in a consistent flow of currency, just going like this and allowing myself to go where I'm supposed to go, see who I'm supposed to see, 
say what I'm supposed to say and be who I'm supposed to be in the moment, you know? Um, for me, the soft life is being more in tune with myself, being more in tune with what my spirit needs, you know, feeding my spirit more, making sure that I'm checking in with myself on a day-to-day -day basis. I do that already. I'm pretty good at doing that, but it's it's not it's nothing wrong with um, noticing that you can do better. You know what I mean? Like, I notice that there's times, especially when I'm like creating or I'm working on some different projects, that I'm so tapped in to what I'm doing, what I'm doing, that I'm like on go. And I'm just not really honoring myself fully in the moment. I'm just like, I gotta get this done, I gotta do this, I gotta do that because I need to be done by this time. I have this on my calendar to be done by that time. You know, just being so fixated on that. And I want to become more open to allowing things to happen the way that they're supposed to happen. For me, the soft life is just being in tune with me. You know, just being still and doing what I need to do in the moment. Honoring myself, you know? Which leads me to my next topic, which is self-care benefits. You know, like what does self-care look like to you? Self-care can be different things. Self-care can, can change every day. Self-care doesn't have to be one set thing. It doesn't have to be the same thing that you do all the time. It can be a mix of things because your body, your soul, your mind needs different things based on what the moment is. You know what I mean? So like for me, for example, today, I woke up this morning and lately what I've been doing is getting back into running because I love to run. Running, cardio, any form of cardio is like very liberating for me. I used to be a track runner back in when I was in middle school and high school, so I really like to run, but it's very liberating to me, and I've had to get back in the groove of running often, more often, because I've been on uh, vacation and traveling for like the last month or so, and I've kind of been off my schedule, and I, I wanted to create a new pattern of um, getting back into the groove of moving my body. You know, I said, you know what, I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to go run and um, I'm going to do it early in the morning before it gets too, too hot. But I want to just have that time with me in nature, you know, where there's not a lot of people at the park or anything like that. As soon as I got there, I'm like, okay, let's do it. You know, let's do it, Octavia. You got this. And I'm always hyping myself up. And it just be me. And I know when people walk by or drive by, they see this girl just, you know, like talking to herself. They're probably looking to see, does she have on, you know, AirPods or something? Does she listen to music? No, I just be talking to myself. <laughs> but I love to talk to myself because I'm my biggest fan. And it's like when I'm talking to myself, I'm basically um, telling my myself what I need to hear. I'm rooting for myself. I'm being that that cheerleader but anyways um so i'm running I'm, I'm starting to run and i'm like okay you got this you got this and as i'm running i'm just looking around in nature and just admiring my environment because i noticed that when i am in tune with doing something i don't really pay attention to my environment and that's not always the best thing and i want to i, I told myself that i want to start practicing on paying more attention to my environment because that brings me back to being aware of the now. That brings me back to being aware of, okay, I'm focusing on the present. You don't need to focus on the future. You don't need to focus on the past. Focus on the now. So I'm just running, I'm running. And um, where I run, there's like these line of steps. And it's like you run around the park and you go up these steps. And each week I increase how many laps I do around the park. So this week I'm on seven laps around. So I, I go up the steps, you know, seven times. And every time I hit the steps, I'm like, okay, you got this, Octavia. Keep going. Your future self is thanking you. Your future self is thanking you. And as I keep doing that each lap, it begins to get easier for me. And it becomes easier because now it's like, I'm already in the groove. I'm already knowing like 
my body needs this you know like this is something that's going to benefit me i'm not just doing this because i'm supposed to work out no i'm doing this because this is a form, this is a form of self-care i'm doing this because i know when i'm done my body is going to appreciate that i took the time out to do it i said that to say your form of self-care can look different it can fluctuate. It doesn't have to look the same all the time. It doesn't mean just getting your nails done, getting your toes done, getting your hair done, massage. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't have to be the only form of self of self care or something that you do all the time. But when you think of self care, think of it from a more internal perspective. You know, think of it of think of it as what can I do that my future self can thank me for? What can I do now? What can I do today? Am I listening to myself? Am I listening to my body? Am I listening to what I need? And when you think about that, literally do what you think you're supposed to do in that moment that your future self will be like, thank you. Thank you for doing that because now I feel like this or I knew that me doing this will allow this to happen. You know what I mean? Just kind of stay in that flow state. But moving along... So as a creator, I make sure that I don't overthink. I try not to put a, a lot of pressure on myself on how I want things to go. Try to be more intentional with what I do, meaning, you know, if I'm creating this or like, for example, I'm doing this video, I'm doing this, I'm recording this video right now with the intentions of this reaching those who need to see this video. I don't have any other attachments to this. My only purpose is to record this, to share this message with someone who um, needs to see this. You know what I mean? And it's like, although I'm doing that, I'm still in my creative state. I'm still creating. I'm not overthinking it. I'm not saying like, oh, I need to record this video because I have to have another video posted for this week. Or I have to have this video reach this amount of views in this amount of time. That's not my purpose. My purpose is to just create and to share, to create and share. And I, I always told myself I never wanted to be the, the girl who did not decide to go for it. I've always wanted to be the woman who showed up for myself and decided to go for it. So if there's something that I feel like will benefit not just me, but someone else, I will share it. You can ask my friends, my loved ones. I am that one who is like that positive reinforcement. I will share the message with you. I will share it with those that my spirit says, you know what, this person needs to hear, share this, or this person needs to hear this, send that quote, or this person needs to listen to this, share that reel, share that TikTok, share that video. That's me. And even in that moment, I feel like I'm creating. Why? Because I'm creating um, that positive reinforcement with others. I'm not being so so serious about it, but I'm I'm being open to what my purpose is. If you're trying to get into the lifestyle of becoming a content creator or any kind of creator these days, especially with being on social media, my advice for you is to just stay true to yourself and don't be so serious about it. You know, <laughs> stay true to yourself and have fun. Remember why you decided to start creating in the first place. Remember why you enjoy it because if you don't remember your why, you'll get lost in what the world is telling you, what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it. And then you don't you're not having fun anymore and then it doesn't even feel like you're creating anymore. It just feels like you're working. And like who wants to do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So just stay true to yourself and be open to how things are supposed to go and just have fun with it. Always stay in the, in the state of you never know enough and you can always learn more. Remain teachable because when you remain teachable, you're allowing knowledge to flow to you. You're allowing things to be attracted to you because you are who you attract right you are the energy that you want to attract so be the energy to where you don't know enough when you don't know enough then what will be sent to you are things that will help you know more you know what i mean always be in that flow state so i think i spoke enough during this video i just wanted to check in with y'all um 
as always, thank you so much for connecting with me. Um, thank you so much for supporting me, for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, for commenting, for engaging. I really do appreciate it, you all. Like, I really do. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Octavia.Darling. Drop a sunflower emoji on my new pictures and whoever dropped the, the first sunflower emoji on my new pictures on Instagram that is who I will shout out in my next video I did post a picture yesterday on Instagram and I don't think anyone dropped the emoji yet <laughs> which is okay because there's still time so this is the picture that I posted on Instagram yesterday I hope you guys can see that I'm not sure if it's focusing but you dropped the sunflower emoji that lets me know that you're from YouTube no one else knows about this but only my YouTube viewers but if you drop the sun the sunflower emoji on this picture I will give you a shout out in my next video I will shout you out um, shout out your Instagram page and just show you some love because you're supporting me so on my Pinterest I normally just, y'all yeah, love Pinterest. I just be on there scrolling, creating boards and things like that. Like I have so many different kind of boards and I also share content or whatever, but most of my stuff on Pinterest um, revolves around quotes, food, locks, health, and art. <laughs> So if you're into that kind of stuff, follow me on Pinterest. Um, my name on Pinterest is Octavia Darling. And if you're not on TikTok or if you are on TikTok, follow your girl on TikTok because people on TikTok be showing me lots of love um, and I'm here for it, okay? You can find me on TikTok at Octavia.Darling. If you do follow me on TikTok, you know what? Drop a sunflower emoji on my TikTok video so I can know you from YouTube. Show you some love. How about that? Let's do it for TikTok and Instagram. If you follow me on both of those, drop sunflower emojis on my post so I can know that you're showing up for me too. Okay, guys? I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure that you have a blessed week. Share love, light with others, and show up for yourself. Take care of yourself. Listen to yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.